Hello again everyone, I am Chompy, and yes, I have a new skin. I'm pretty excited about it, let me show you. That is the wrong button. Let's just do this. And check out my outfit. It's so cool, yes it is. I look a little bit like Michael Jackson. Um, that wasn't intended. But basically, if I could get out of that little area, I'm wearing fashion show, a flannel top with a white t-shirt, black jeans, and Chuck, Chuck Taylors, Chuck Taylors, Chuck Converse, Chucks, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, yeah, and I tried to, I made my own avatar, I mean my own, um, uh, uh, character. Sure. So, um, I found like a little template and then I used all the tools available and made my own. Like I just changed the colors and tried to make long hair because people think I am a 12 year old boy and I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> that was awkward. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is go down here. Oh, I don't know if you remember, but there were two like holes in the ground and I put a little building over one of them and this is my- Oh, look at my doggy! Severus Snape! That's your name. Are you not even gonna look at me? Fine. Apparently I picked up a piece of cotton. Um, let's put that there. Okay. So yeah, this is the, that cave, and I'm slowly, um, you know, building it up, making it look nice. And we're not going to go in there yet, though. Over here is where I have not really been working except to make this guy, which is dun -dun -dun -dun, the Coke Oven. Let's talk about it for a minute, shall we? I'm just going to not do that. Give me that. I'm going to go in here. That's what I'm going to do and press R. This is the recipe. So, you go get a crap ton of sand and a crap ton of clay. Turn them into bricks, just the clay, and you will make this pattern to make one coke oven brick. But if you look, I can't really do it. <laughs> Underneath coke oven brick, it says multi-block, three by three by three. It's, that means it's a structure, so you don't just build one and place it down, you have to actually build it. So, um, the bottom layer will be a three by three, that's the very first layer, and the whole thing, you know, every single spot, uh, three by three. Then, you go up three, which apparently I buried mine, because I failed a lot when I was making it. It's been a while since I made one myself. So, um, yeah. So that's what it looks like. This is all, the whole layer has bricks. And then behind this guy, there's a space. So there will be one block in the middle that is hollow. And then the top, you, do I not have my jetpack on? Oh yeah, I took everything off. Dur, 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 dur. Um, right. Now we're all ready to go, aren't we? Okay. So, the top layer is just like the bottom layer, and then the middle layer, empty in the middle. Easy enough, right? Alright, so we right click on it, and this is, this is the beauty of this machine. Well, it's not really a machine, it's a structure, but it's really cool. And this is why. So, um, you take a stack of coal, it'll take up to 64 at a time. It is really super duper slow, but what it does is it converts it, your regular coal, into coal coke, which, if you read there on the screen, 16 K EU at 10 e, um, EUs per tick. This one is only four, so these last um, a lot longer, and a lot of the things that you do in the beginning before you can really get established with your um, energy source, which we will be doing pretty soon, um, you might need to use a lot of coal in your engines, and using the coal coke will make it last a lot longer because, surprisingly, you go through a lot of coal and feed the beast if you don't know what you're doing and you don't plan it out. So, another early game tip is to make a coke oven. 
and convert all your coal. Yes, it's slow, but you know, you just throw in a stack, check on it periodically, and eventually you start building up all your stacks of coal coke. What it makes, a byproduct of it, and this is also a tank, um, is creosote, creosote? I never know how to say it. Oil. And you can use that with a lot of the, um, Steve's carts. Um, that's another mod with, like, all the rails and stuff. Um, and we do have someone working on that, so he might want to trade for some creosote oil. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Severus Snape, I love you. Okay, let's go over here. That's my portal, it's pretty loud. <sighs> and I just linked it to the nether, so I don't want to move it and then have to relink it, but I might have to, because it's, I can hear it through my house, I can hear it, like, everywhere. <sighs> Drives me crazy. All right, let's talk about this bad boy. What in the heck is this, you say? And I say to you, why, it's a smeltery, duh. <laughs> oh gosh, I know, I'm in a mood. Now what happens when you start um, in your Feed the Beast world is you'll get a book. And it is this book right here. Right click it and you can read your book. Materials and You, Surviving the First Day and Beyond by Skyla. But really, it's all about the, um, the Tinker's Construct. That's the mod I was talking about. And it tells you what you need to get started. You can read all of that. Blah, 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 blah. Or berry um, bushes. They, they're really cool. Like, when I first started, I didn't really use them a lot. But now I'm farming them. And I find that it makes a smeltery work a lot faster. And it's a good source. You don't have to use your main source of iron or whatever else you're using to make your uh, tool or weapon of choice. So I have that. And then it gives you all the patterns and how to make the tool forge um, and the station and so on and so on. This is an important one back here. Um, sand, gravel, and clay will make grout, which you then smelt, which then gives you bricks. And then you use the bricks to build the actual smeltery. And then you'll, after you make the smeltery, you'll get the red book. And then once you start using it, you'll get the gray book. So let's quickly look at those. Um, let's see. Alright, so this tells you about all the tools and um, weapons you can make. Really awesome. Cool stuff. I have made a hammer. And I made it out of iron. So I smelted a bunch of iron in here, and I'll show you how that works. And then you um, put it all together, but first you have to make um, patterns, and then you basically pour into a cast. You pour the metal into a cast. And these are all the different materials of that you can use. If you combine this with... Hmm. Oh, I didn't pour that into a cast. I should make an obsidian tool. Totally. Okay, this you get in the nether. Um, alumite. Um, you can use slime. And there are all these different things you can use to... Oh, and cobalt. If you combine that pink one with cobalt, you get like this really strong... This one right here. This material. That's the strongest one. And... That's what I need to make, but I have to go to the nether. And I can only... I only am able to pick up those blocks with force pickaxes so I don't know if that's like I mean I tried a diamond one it didn't work it just destroyed it and I never got it in my inventory so I don't know and then this one tells you again um, about the metals and the different how to make the different parts did we just look at this one no we didn't okay I've never used some of these things I'm gonna try and implement them during the series. So yeah, this here is a little controller of a smeltery and this is where you put in, um, should we do an ore? What do I have? Let's check. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have some obsidian. Okay. Let's do that. So you will right click and do this little slidey thing and it'll slowly, like the stronger the material, the longer it takes. So this guy's going to be a while. But over here, um, now to, you find these in caves, and to make them, you just right-click to get the 
Little ore. Oops. Oh, okay. Whoops. <laughs> Let's get those off the hot bar. <laughs> That'll happen again. I can pretty much guarantee it. Um, so yeah. Right click and you'll get... Ow! Ouch! Yes, they hurt you, by the way. Um, not very much, but it is pretty obnoxious. Now, let's see. Right click and then you'll get gold. I have iron, tin, aluminum, copper, and I still have no idea what this does. Concentrated essence berry. Tastes like creeper. Does it? <laughs> I don't want to test that out, honestly. Should we? Let's, let's see what happens. What? Oh my god, it gave me XP! I right-clicked it and it gave me XP! Oh my god. I need millions! Millions of those! Holy crap! Okay. I'm so distracted by that right now. I'm so excited, okay. Um, let's go get the other ones. Oh, okay, so for these to grow, you- okay, you know what? I need to eat. Let's focus. Focus. I'm too excited. Okay. Alright, in order for these to grow, um, it kind of needs to be dark in here, or they'll start off like this as a little tiny uh, block, but it won't get bigger. I guess it's getting hit by that light. So I receded my torches into the wall, and that seems to work for most of them. Not melting? Oh yeah, and if you step in here, you'll get burned. Am I in the obsidian? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Don't do that again. Alright, so over here, um, these are little spouts, and you pour um, whatever you're smelting into here. You can make a blank cast, which is pretty pointless. Or, um, what I like to do is build the part with, which, I don't know which one it is, but, oh, here. This tells you, uh, tells you, you put a blank cast in there, and then it'll give you the pattern, but with the metal ones, which is what you need, you have to first make it out of wood, and then cast it with metal, and then you use that as your cast to make the tools. It's kind of crazy. So, like these I used to make my casts, which are over here. These are what I used to make my actual hammer, so I smelted iron, and then I poured them into there. And then it gave me the pieces, and I got this bad boy. And I'm going to show you what this does. Right? Meow. Hey, let me out. Let me out. Rude. Do you like that door? That is made out of cherry wood. And you can pretty much use most woods you find to make solid doors by filling up um, all nine slots in a crafting table with uh, whatever wood plank you choose. And it'll give you a pretty cool door. Uh, what are we doing? I'm going to show you the hammer. So, if you come over here. Ooh, iridium. Knock that torch out. Oh, oh, I'll tell you that in a minute. Okay, um, let me light it up so you can see. Kind of. We'll do it right here. Okay, so you're going to right click in the middle. And what it, d I mean, left click. <laughs> Sorry. And look. <laughs> I am a huge nerd today. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, left click in the middle. And it takes out a three by three space. It's awesome. I actually just went caving with this guy. I didn't find any diamonds yet, but I did find a lot of stuff, and it's so much faster. So much faster. It's great. Give me those. I need that. Mostly I need a lot of cobble right now, which is strange, but it happens. Let me make some torches so I can show you what else it does. Do -do 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 -do. So, if you're holding your hammer and you right-click... It'll place a torch for you, so you can just, like, run along, place your torch, break some stuff. I'm gonna break this, and then I'm gonna light it up, but not right there, because I'm just gonna break that. But you get the point. Yeah, so it's really cool. It's only made four of those. That sucks, but hey, whatever. It's better than wasting your coal. And don't you forget that. <laughs> oh, gosh, come with me. Let's go. Do, 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 do. This is my new home. You get a new home. And you get a new home. Really, I get a home, but that's my Oprah. <laughs> Everybody gets a new home. Yeah. Is that what, which one is this? What door is that? 
I think that's the cherry again, but I have jungle. Yeah, that's the jungle door. Isn't it fancy schmancy? Let's go down here. One of the rooms I'm working on. Uh, disregard this. That's not going to be happening. Yeah, this is a slow process right here, but it is getting done. We might, um, work on this next time, or we might... Um, look at this roof. Good God. That's gonna be a pretty big house. Probably this is actually the biggest house I've ever made. <sighs> yeah, I'm still kind of playing with like what I want to do with the walls and all that. But I'll I'll build some on camera too. It makes me a little bit nervous, but I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. Have to conquer those fears, man. Conquer those fears. So my dandy little pink trees. <laughs> Wow, they're big. I finished the roof. Over there. But not here, apparently. Okay, well, we're not touring right now. What we're doing is we're saying goodbye. And I want to look at your pretty faces. Hello. So, if you had a good time, I would definitely appreciate it if you left a comment, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Um, it makes my day. And it makes me smile and run around and do cartwheels. No, not really, but it does make me happy. <laughs> right, so next time we are going to be working on the quarry, and we are going to maybe go to the nether. I'm not entirely sure, but I have a few things in mind. The quarry definitely being one. And that is going to be pretty awesome. If you don't know about Feed the Beast and you're just learning, the quarry is where it's at, man. Totally. And that is one reason why I made the uh, Coke oven, because it helps. You'll see. All right. Anyways, <laughs> babble, babble, babble. Goodbye. I hope you had a fun time. Severus Snape's trying to get up here. Bye-bye. <laughs>